Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, here's a little circuit that I just whipped up to illustrate this um, kind of a uh, bipolar motor driver or coil driver. Um, instead of using a motor or a coil though, in order to make it clear what I'm doing, I've got the two LEDs here as the load. These are connected uh, oppositely. Um, one of them is connected with the anode to the ground rail here. The other one is connected with the cathode to the ground rail here. And uh, so we have uh, a 741 op amp, and it's being powered by a, a plus 15, minus 15, zero voltage supply coming from my bench supply over there. Okay, so this potentiometer is just a voltage divider right across the supply with the middle leg connected to the uh, to one of the inputs of the op amp. The other input of the op amp is connected as a feedback loop over here to the output of the two transistor push-pull driver stage. Um, so if you wanted to use a high current coil or a motor you would use uh, power transistors here. This is a PNP, or, I'm sorry, this is the NPN and this is a PNP connected with a common emitter configuration. Collectors go to the minus 15 and plus 15 side and then the bases go together to the output of the 741 op amp. Okay, so uh, depending on whether the input from the wiper of the potentiometer to the input of the op amp, depending on whether that is uh, high or low with respect to the zero voltage reference, one or the other of the LEDs, or coil or motor, uh, or coil or bidirectional motor will uh, will be driven. So let's just see what happens. I've got the potentiometer centered right now, and neither LED is on. So let's turn it towards one side. You can see that the one LED comes on brightly. Turn it towards the other, the pot towards the other side. There's center. And there's the other LED coming on, nice and bright. So, uh, if you had a rapidly alternating signal coming in from this input to the op amp, the coil or motor attached to the output would be uh, switching polarity, running forwards and backwards, or in the case of an electromagnet, uh, it would be presenting a positive or a negative pole from the active side of the electromagnet, depending on what the sensor is feeding to the op amp. Okay. Okay. Now, just for fun, I went ahead and hooked up a little motor uh, to the to the thing, and uh, let's see how she goes. That's one direction. That's the other direction. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for watching.